I'm recording now. Absolutely. I'm so sorry. I thought I was recording. What a shame. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. Absolute shameful that I did not press goddamn record. Absolutely horrible. Okay. Anyways. <sighs> so, it says here, which of the following can be inferred? They were distinctive, finely worked stone tools discovered in these regions. Okay, so were stone tools discovered in this region? Okay, there was little evidence of Mesolithic. So what I'm gonna do is, where's the Mesolithic? Oh my God. It's not there. It's not even there. Oh my God. No. That's what makes it no. scary, doesn't it? Is there mm -hmm. symptoms in regards to this? No. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. This is what makes it a hell of a lot more crazier. All right. And then there was no evidence of method. Okay. Little evidence and no evidence. So mm -hmm. we're looking for, okay. Habitat, habitation. Okay. Gather <laughs> inhabited this land. So what we're going to have to do is just say and infer that nomadic hunters are part of that Mesolithic and they, uh, and gatherers inhabited this land. Okay, and the thing is, it says little evidence of Mesolithic habitation. And then it says no evidence of Mesolithic habitation. Well, the thing is, they were there. <laughs> it says nomadic hunters gathers inhabited in this land. And then after this, it says, okay, they hunted animals for food and skins, lived on berries and nuts, portable light structures, these homes were portable and easy to disassemble. There There's is a little, little evidence of the existence of these people. Okay. That's what it, okay, so it says very little evidence of the existence of these people. Apart from exceptions in Britain and Scandinavia. Woo -hoo -hoo! I love it right there. That's a, little, that's a little scary because it says right there, apart from exceptions in Britain and Scandinavia, the only evidence of their existence is usually et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, this is going to be a little bit of a tough one. So if we think about it here, how, how are you ladies breaking this down? So Rosalie, what is something, what, what, is it, what, what is one answer we could like take out? B, the last one, you say no evidence. And in Britain and Scandinavia, the only evidence in their existence is also the, they mention something. Okay, all right. And obviously the Meso Mesolithic habitations in the very part of, of, what is it, at the top of the, at the top of the paragraph right over here, it says like there is some habit, you know, some habitation of these people, right? Mm -hmm. Now it says very little evidence of the existence of these people. Mm -hmm. But that's different from the habitation of these people. Exactly. Okay, so we're gonna take out D. Very good, Rosalith. That is a good one. All right. So what else can we kind of take out? If there's no evidence. It is um it is A because the other two mm -hmm. they are there, they they don't match with the information that we have in the paragraph. And 
if you, if we do what you just did and just highlight or just find really quick Britain and Scandinavia, you can see the answer right there. So as soon as you did that, I found the answer right away. That yeah, took me like, like two seconds. Okay, wait, so you believe that A is the answer? Yes. Yeah, me too. Okay, so you believe that A is the answer. There were distinct and finely worked stone tools discovered in these regions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now it says here. The only evidence. The scattering, okay, of distinct and finely worked stone tools. The only evidence of their existence, meaning the people, is usually distinct and finely worked stone tools. But does it say in these regions? Do you believe the region is you just saying Britain and Scandinavia, right? Uh-huh. Okay. All right, Heido, how about you? What do you think? I think it's one. Okay, okay. All right, well, we could take out C, but now I'm gonna make I'm gonna make you think about this from a different vantage point now. In B, it says there was evidence of blah, 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 but it was not related to distinct and finely worked stone tools. Now, the thing is, if you see, but it was not related, it relates to apart from some exceptions. This could be tricky, and this is what they do in TOEFL. So it says, apart from exceptions in Britain and Scandinavia, the only evidence of their existence was, you know, based on this. But the reason why, and I'm gonna hurry up and tell you why A is not the correct answer is because it contradicts lines five and six. They were distinct and finely worked stone tools discovered in these regions. Five and six, it says, apart from the exceptions in Britain and Scandinavia, the only evidence is distinct and finely worked stone tools. Mm. It's that contradict. It's this part right here. And that's why you heard me raise my voice on this specific part to give you that emphasis apart from some. And TOEFL has a tendency of putting in these phrases where it says, well, apart from this or aside from this or on top of that or given something that kind of shifts the contrast and the point away so that you could make the wrong choice in which you fell right on A instead of the B, but it was not related to, apart from some exceptions. Not related to, apart from some exceptions. Meaning, Britain and Scandinavia, not related to. A, related to. You see? Hard, very hard. And so what you gotta do, wait, well, Give yourself a round of applause. At least we got the D and the, B, the C. At least we're, we're finally beginning to eliminate some of these hard ass answers. Okay. But when it came to A and D, what I would want you to do is from now on, what's going to happen is when you see two answers, and again, Maria, going back to you, you said you, uh, you eliminated B. Why? Stay with us. We'll be right back. Ready to plug into the future? Join myself, Sean Leahy, and me, Andrew Maynard, on Modem Futura, where we explore the technologies shaping our futures. We bring the experts, the insights, and a whole lot of curiosity to every episode of Modem Futura as we boldly go where <laughs> no one else has gone. So join us as we navigate the intersection of innovation and humanity uncovering the stories that will define our collective futures. Subscribe to Modem Futura wherever you get your podcasts. We'll see you there. See you then. Um, because I thought they were asking ab about Britain and Scandinavia, and I understood that Britain and Scandinavia was the only evidence that they exist. I didn't pay attention to deceptions. Right, that little opening. So play. I went right to the, yes. But what made me doubt was that the, usually the inference, they changed the words. And this one was basically the same that was 
in there. So I was kind of like doubting if it was or no, but at the end I was like, it is. Because I know they changed, they paraphrase the yeah. words in the way we can, we can do the infer. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So considering that there is an, an another way that you can kind of go about this, is D, no evidence, C, little evidence, C, evidence. So it's like going from zero to 50 to 100. And it okay. says, the gatherers inhabited this land and it gave you almost three lines of you know, evidence. Now, again, very little evidence of the existence of these people, but evidence of the habitation of these people. It's kind of weird. It's kind of like very little evidence, but there, there is evidence that it was inhabited by some people, which means nomadic hunters. So we'll take that one with the grain of salt. And for obviously much more difficult than the Stone Age, the Mesolithic Age. This one's going to be a little bit more difficult. But nonetheless, we're just, at least you were able to say uh, D, no, and D is closely related to C little evidence now don't get thrown off just because it says little evidence doesn't necessarily mean that there is little evidence that's another technique that TOEFL likes to do they like to say oh little evidence little evidence oh yep okay there's little evidence that relates no okay mm -hmm. be very careful with that all right so whew, okay let's keep it going let's keep it going now what we're gonna do let's do another one why we're doing another why question why does the author include the information that there was an excavation keyword Howick and bleh, i don't even know how to say that okay i got the main place right here and here goes the keyword okay now why does he include it what is he trying to emphasize it's just like the details i did for the stone age okay So what I want to hurry up and do, we got discovery of Flint tools, a better awareness of interest, remains of Mesolithic people, hazelnuts. <laughs> Sorry, I always- yeah, We can't that. eliminate that. What's up? We can't eliminate that answer. I'm sorry? We can eliminate that answer. The awesome. Awesome. Okay. So right when I laugh, you said we could eliminate that. I don't see anything in regards to hazelnuts. Do you? No. No. Get the, get it the hell out of here. Make your life easy, people. Make your life easy. All right. Now, remains of Mesolithic people. Now, remains of people. We're talking I bones. See, I think C is. Can, can we eliminate I see too? Because I don't see nothing about reminders mentioned the people. We most definitely can, Rosa Lynch. See, get the hell out of here. Oh, we're looking good. We're at a 50-50 already. Discovery of Flint tools or better awareness of an interest. I know, you want to take this one? Is A? A is the answer? I think. Okay, Rosalie thinks A. Maria, what do you think? I think so. Is uh, A for the first um, sentence two. of day. Two archaeology in Britain notice example of such tools. Yeah, we did this story of near Near revealing something deeper. Uh -huh. So that's why they did the excavation because they saw something around and it was near to the village called Howitt 
in Northumberland. Okay. Ida, what do you think? I think so. I'm not sure. Now, I'm going to make you think about this from a different way. Discovery of tools. The second sentence says, <clears throat> upon excavation, these tools revealed something. It's not the revealing of the tools. It's the uh -huh. tools revealing something. Another TOEFL trick. The answer is B, last sentence. The incredible discovery led to some exciting questions about the understanding. It led to a better awareness and interest in the Mesolithic age. B's your answer. The tools helped us discover something. It wasn't us discovering the tools. Does that make sense, Maria Rosalie? No. No. Yet. <laughs> no, not yet for the for the last sentence and the B B, you said B, right? Yeah, yeah, B, yeah. It led to a better awareness. Better awareness, understanding. Exciting questions. Exciting questions. Interest. I I think I understand now the last sentence and the answer. They paraphrase the, the, the last sentence. They did. They did. Because yeah. exciting questions means interest. Now, now I get it. Now I'm, I'm reading like a, for the tier time. I get it. Good. Okay. Okay. And going back to context details of that B, I'm sorry, of A, led to discovery of tools. But the thing is, they had these tools and these tools soon revealed something deeper, something deeper. The tools revealed it. It wasn't tools revealing other, mm -hmm. other tools. It was tools revealing something. All right. So that's good. You're picking it up. You're saying, okay, eliminate hazelnuts, eliminate the, uh, what is it? The remains of people. Okay, and you're seeing how I'm quickly hurrying up and picking up these little, you know, these little key words. So we're getting the 50-50 now. But we need to keep our eye on the prize and make sure we can, it's the smallest little thing that either contradicts or doesn't make any sense. That's what I need to coach you to get to. Once you get to that point, oh, we're going to be on fire. We're going to be on fire. All right, so let's get into number three. Oh my God, I lost my voice. Okay, so here we go. How did scientists prove, prove what? Dwelling place dated back Metholistic A. Mesolithic, Metho, I don't give a damn. Okay, now dated back. Okay, ooh, here we go. Let me put this on another page. Ah, okay. There we go. All right. Now, the thing is, dating back to the Mesolithic age, I'm looking for a year. I'm looking for a year. The year comes right down here. So technique number one, prove dwelling place dated back. I'm like, dated back. That means a year. I hurry up and look for the year. First sentence, hazelnut shells. <laughs> Okay, second sentence, radiocarbon dating, observed lifetime by all things, but we're looking to the proof and how it dated back to the Mesolithic age, correct? And then it says a tree carbon doesn't relate, more nuts doesn't relate, radiocarbon doesn't relate. This is why hazelnuts, accurate radiocarbon, ooh, that might be a little bit of a, a, a nice little thing here. So that's what I have. Now, it says here, it says shallow depressions in fireplaces. What the hell? Okay, well, that's, uh, okay. Burned hazelnut shells, calculating the rings, surrounding trees nearby, or radiocarbon dating. 
No one. Mm -hmm. What? That is the answer. Which one? Oh, that, that is the answer. As in radiocarbon dating is the answer. I think so. Okay, now why would you say that is the answer? Because they say, this is why I had not made them perfect samples for a radiocarbon dating. Using radiocarbon dating, a British scientific was able to confirm that the house was constructed around la 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 la. And they are asking, how did scientific prove? Okay. Good. Okay, Rosalie, what about you? Is that the same idea? Did you have the same idea? No, I was thinking eliminate numbers, uh, the C. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, okay good. I like Rosalie. She's the one that's like, okay, I'm gonna eliminate all the stupid stuff. Okay, so A <laughs> is obviously awful. Okay, so Heido, if you're still having difficulties with deciphering information, A, shallow depressions, fireplaces. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, through the dis discovery of burned hazelnut shells. I mean, burned hazelnut shells. Do you see that anywhere? No. I, I don't see burned hazelnut shells. I'm sorry. I just, I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm scanning. Yeah. So I just do not see that. So A and B are quickly eliminated. And then obviously, Rosalif, you eliminated C. And then Maria with the answer very quickly. Oh my God. Five seconds. Okay. 10 questions. You did one in five seconds. That gives you 17 minutes and 55 seconds <laughs> to answer nine more. Okay. Very good. Muy bien. Jairo, but do you understand how she did that? I just want to make sure that you understand how to answer these. No, it's still difficult for you, huh? So what I did is date it back to Mesolithic age. I looked for the year. I found here. Here's your opening thing right there. Radiocarbon dating. What were they able to do? How did they prove the dwelling place? Scientists were able to confirm that the house dwelling place constructed around 7,600 BC had been lived in. That's exactly what that is. The dwelling place, meaning the house dated back to the Mesolithic age by using radiocarbon dating. It dated back to 7,600. Dwelling place is the house. That's how I keyed everything in. All right, let's do one more. We're going to do this in a real quick one. Oh, shit. This one's hard. Okay, no, I could probably do that one for. Oh, my God, that one's harder. Okay, uh, good luck, people. All right, so here we go. We're going to we're gonna try to finish this one off in four, okay? This looks a little hard. Or do you want me to give you questions four and five for homework along with your more, more homework? Is that okay? Yes. Because this one's going to take is. a little bit of a long time. So to sum long this up, to sum this up, we got to figure out a strategy. Rosalie, if I think for the most part, you're understanding the strategy behind these longer questions that take up more time. Remember, this is the main reason why I wanted to do the longer questions today, because I knew the reference questions and by showing you those quick techniques. And again, I'm going to be creating that assignment for you to do over the weekend and stuff. Um, by doing that, you know, figuring out a strategy and that execution saying, okay, I don't have to read everything from top to bottom because you're going to waste time, too much time. Okay, Arsenio said with the inference question, look for the two big keywords, Britain, Scandinavia, tip number one, or number one, Britain, Scandinavia, find it. Okay, Arsenio mm -hmm. then said, look at some of the uh, answers. Well, it says no evidence, little evidence, habitation, it was not related. And then finally, distinct stone tools. All of that goes to the bottom of the paragraph. We now know our area, tip number two. Tip number three, going to Heido. If you don't understand so much, what you can do is, well, let me just use some process of elimination. No evidence. Well, it says little evidence. The only evidence, well, I know that there is evidence. So let me hurry up and get rid of D. Process of elimination if it's too difficult for you to comprehend. What you're going to have to build up, especially, is that, all right, how am I going to go about answering these specific 
questions. I got to figure out a strategy. You got to figure out your execution, that plan, that plan behind attacking each of these questions. I coached you through it. And now by being coached through it on a subconscious level, what you need to do is say, okay, all right, Arsenio. Okay, all right, all right. Go on. You're going to get a couple readings. You're going to see if you can match these and start seeing if they add up. Because if they do add up and you start scoring and hitting these marks in the why questions, the support questions, the inference questions, now you found a strategy. And now it's all about perfecting the strategy. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to be aiming for. That's what we're going to be doing from here on out.